Hi, I love teaching this lesson about the secret genie. I call it the magic genie. Once you get this, you'll know how things can show up in your world like magic, and you're no longer just an observer or a victim of circumstances. You can control your outcomes. I'm Madeline Kennedy, a coach, consultant, and facilitator for the Proctor Gallagher Institute, where we teach you ways that you can actually live the life that you've always dreamt of and where you'll discover that it's really not that difficult. You just need to know a few of the secrets that we have not been taught as we were growing up. When you decide to work with me as your elite coach and mentor through this Thinking Into Results program, you will start to see right away what's been missing all the time, and you will notice changes in yourself almost immediately. And in six months' time, you will look back and be amazed at how far you have come in your thinking and in your results. So we always like to acknowledge wins, any wins and accomplishments. You may think that they are not big or important, but we celebrate every little win like a small change in your perspective on how you respond or react to a certain situation or how you made a committed decision to develop a new habit of increasing your will by committing to study every morning by getting up an hour earlier. These are powerful wins. Many things go unnoticed that are important wins. I suggest you keep a wins journal that you can look back over all your progress and actually see how far you've come. So let's go dig into this lesson. We always have an agenda. We're going to introduce a lesson for the secret genie, review lesson three worksheets, cover the key points, and then we're going to have a worksheet introduction for lesson four, and then a quick little wrap it up. I always like to start with a record, with a quote. So your world is a living expression of how you are using and have used your mind. That's by Earl Nightingale, which he was one of Bob's mentors. So what you will learn in lesson four, The Secret Genie, is how to gain control over the thoughts you think, how the law of attraction works to help you achieve any goal you want, and a repeatable formula that you can use to change any results you are unhappy with. And if you are currently going through the Thinking Into Results program already, you will have access to Lesson 4 video taught to you directly by Bob Proctor and Sandy Gallagher, the master teachers of this material, where they explain about the secret genie and how it works for everybody. No exceptions. Now let's look at this worksheet review for lesson three, our last lesson of the infinite mind. You rewrote your NPAs from lesson two, which were non-productive actions. You wrote detailed description of the results you do want, your productive actions, and you burned or shredded the sheets of papers with the unwanted results of the NPAs. So you just got them completely away from you. And here's another quote that I really enjoy. This one is by Buckminster Fuller. If you want to change something, don't fight the existing reality. To change something, build a new model that makes the old model obsolete. So let's look at this. I love this image of the stick person. That was Dr. Thurman Fleet's brainchild. He knew there was a need to actually have a picture of how the mind works. Dr. Fleet was a chiropractor from San Antonio, Texas, and he developed this picture of the mind and body in 1934. Until this, no one had a picture of the mind, and this is so powerful because, you see, we think in pictures. We always think in pictures, and without a proper picture of the mind, it was too easy to think of a picture of the brain. The brain is not the mind. They are different visual images, and like I said before, we think in pictures. So here we see a large circle represents the mind and the smaller circle represents the body. We make that top circle larger on purpose because up until now, most of our attention and awareness has been given to our body, our physical results, our physical environment, the physical world we're living in. And yet it's the mind that is the higher side of our personality. And it's the mind that plays a pivotal role in creating the physical results. So we have a subconscious mind and a conscious mind. Our conscious mind is our thinking mind. It is our educated mind. 
It's our intellect. It's the part of the mind we, we have 100% control over. We can choose our thoughts. We can accept, reject, or ignore any idea that we want. And we can choose thoughts that feel good and reject thoughts that don't feel good. It's that simple once you become aware of this. Now, the subconscious mind, that's our feeling mind, our emotional mind. That's the emotional part of our personality. This is where the conditioned behaviors and belief systems live. This is where the paradigm resides. The paradigm is what sets up the law of attraction and it moves us into action and attracts back to us the ideas of resources and the people we need to manifest the results we want to manifest. The subconscious mind can only accept ideas. It doesn't have the capacity or the ability to reject. It always accepts what's delivered to it with emotion. Whatever ideas are in the subconscious mind and are emotionalized, giving feeling to it, that is what we are attracting back. And this is one of the greatest truths we'll ever learn. There is such power in it. So here's another picture of the stick person. And it shows our five senses. We see, hear, smell, taste, and touch that are hardwired into our conscious mind. And most of us think that's it. That's our five senses, and but that's it. But there is so much more. We also have six intellectual faculties in our conscious mind that most people don't even know about. They are our special magical gifts. They are perception, will, imagination, intuition, memory, and reason. And I've already mentioned earlier about perception, where you look at any situation from a different viewpoint, and about will, where you develop a practice and know the importance of will, and the need to strengthen all of our higher mental faculties. And we go through this in depth in our future lessons. So here's some key points we need to discuss. If you objectively view another person's behavior, you will understand what is going on in their mind. Vibration is a natural law of the universe. Everything vibrates, nothing rests. We literally live in an ocean of motion. Your body is a molecular structure in a very high speed of vibration. And every person has genius locked up inside of them. So here's the stick person. Again, just another view of how important it is for you to start to get familiar with this. You're going to love it just like the rest of us do. And here's our worksheets for lesson four. You begin by examining how you spend your days. If a disappointing situation occurs, do you react or respond to that situation? What are your greatest strengths? What are your greatest weaknesses? What daily actions do you have that are habitual, that ensure you are moving toward your goal? So list six habits that you would change. What is a belief that you have difficulty with that you'd like to work to strengthen? Think of a very close associate or friend. What behavioral patterns do they have that can be considered annoying? So I want to thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of The Secret Genie. If you're ready for some massive changes in your life, as thousands of our clients have already experienced, just reach out and let's schedule a call, a brief call. And if you're already one of our clients, seeing this lesson and are currently a Proctor Gallagher client, congratulations and welcome. I look forward to hearing about your wins. Thank you so much again.